We are the Patton family, church planning missionaries to Hungary since 1993. Hungary is a small country of nearly 10 million people located in the center of Europe. Formerly a communist country, Hungary is now a member of the European Union. The capital city is Budapest and the official language is Hungarian. After arriving on the field, we spent two years learning the language and immersing ourselves in the culture. The Lord then led us to begin a church in the city of Estergom, which is north of Budapest on the banks of the Danube River. Estergom is a small city of about 30,000. The country of Slovakia lies just across the bridge. Estergom is an important city historically and religiously. Hungary's first king, King Stephen, was born in Estergom and crowned king in the year 1000 AD. The city also became the seat of the Roman Catholic Church for all of Hungary. The Basilica of Estergom is Hungary's largest church building. The Estergom Baptist Church is a true testimony of God's grace. In 1995, many people said a Baptist church could not be built in such a strong Catholic city. But with God, nothing is impossible. For the first few years, we held services in a classroom at a local high school. We were later able to purchase an old house, which we converted into a church building. We expanded our old building as much as possible, but soon realized we would need to build a new one. The Lord allowed us to build a brand new auditorium that seats about 170 people. This auditorium was completed in 2005 and has given us room for continued growth. We have seen steady growth over the years. More than 100 people have been baptized through our ministries, and the church has grown to an average attendance of about 120. I am thankful for my wife, Karen, who has stood by me through the years. She is very involved in the ministry, singing and helping with our worship team, teaching English, heading up the children's ministry, and teaching the ladies. The Lord has blessed us with four children who are all now teenagers. They are all actively involved in the youth ministry and music program of the church. Our older two, Nancy and Ben, are now preparing to attend Bible College and will be sorely missed. The youth group meets each Friday for a time of singing, teaching, and of course, fun and games. We have been thrilled to see the group grow, not only numerically, but also spiritually. We are grateful for Shandor and Undi, the young married couple who lead the teens. This year we began having small group meetings in place of our Thursday evening Bible study. We have six groups now that meet at various times of the week for an in-depth, interactive Bible study. Our goal is to encourage more people to study God's Word for themselves and apply it to their personal lives. We have numerous ministries and events throughout the year. Let me share just a few of them. Each summer, we have a group of Americans come from some of our supporting churches to help with a week of English camp. This has proved an excellent way to share the gospel with children and young people who want the opportunity to practice their English. We are so grateful for those who have sacrificed a part of their summer vacation to help us with this. Each December, we have a Christmas shoebox collection and distribution with about 500 shoebox gifts given to needy children. The children and their parents hear a gospel presentation as part of this distribution. In June, we have Children's Day, a fun fair to celebrate the beginning of summer. We have also found puppets to be an effective medium to share the gospel with kids. One other important ministry is our Bible Institute. The purpose of our institute is to train lay people to be effective workers in their local churches. We put a strong emphasis on Bible survey and theology, as well as classes on practical ministry. We have students not only from our churches in Estergom and Tata, but also from several area churches as well. The town of Nodshap is located about 12 miles from Estergom. We began holding weekly services in Nodshap about six years ago. Two years ago, we purchased an old house and converted it into a church building. The work has not been easy. Many of the people who live in Nodshap are unemployed and have various problems with alcohol and addictions. We have seen a number of people make professions of faith, mostly children, and we trust that one day a solid church will be established. Gerger Simon and his wife Rose lead our church plant in Nodshap. Gerger attended our church first as a seven-year-old boy. He was baptized as a young teen. He later felt the Lord calling him into full-time ministry. He has now completed his bachelor's degree at the Baptist Seminary in Budapest and is serving as an intern, gaining valuable experience leading our mission station in Nodshab. Marzi Chiha joined our ministry last year. He has started a sports outreach ministry, does counseling and discipleship, and also helps Gerdger in Nodshab. I should also mention Margit Bihardi. Margit is Gerdger's mother. She was also one of our first converts, saved back in 1996. Coming from a difficult childhood of neglect and abuse, she has a great burden to help the underprivileged. She now oversees our humanitarian outreach ministry, distributing clothing and food to the needy. 
Just this last year, we opened a thrift store, which Margit and Gerger run together. In 2008, I was asked to take on the pastorate of the Tato Baptist Church. This church was begun by a missionary friend back in the year 2000. When he left the field, the church had a small building and a core group of about 20 to 25 people. In the past few years, the church in Tata has grown by leaps and bounds. We are now averaging 60 to 70 in attendance and have outgrown our current building. We are seeking the Lord's leadership in regards to our future location. Our small building does not have a baptistry, but fortunately, Tata has a large lake just a few blocks from the church, which is ideal for baptizing. We have seen a number of converts saved and baptized over the past few years. The church also has a strong program for children. Besides the regular Sunday school program, every summer our church in Tata holds a summer day camp. The majority of these children are from unsaved families, so it is a wonderful outreach tool. We love the Hungarian people and have made Hungary our home. In fact, we were able to gain dual citizenship in 2011. Please partner with us in praying for our ministry here in Hungary that God would send even more laborers into his harvest field. We have confidence in the gospel of Christ, for as Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God and the salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek.